A Salamander's Life, written and illustrated by John Himmelman. A Salamander's Life. In spring, a salamander lays her eggs in a pond. A red spot newt. A red spotted newt watches the first larva break free. The salamander larva catches and eats a coat pod. A giant water bug would like to eat the salamander larva, but misses. Soon the salamander grows hind legs. The salamander must swim to the surface for air. At the end of summer, the young salamander leaves her pond. She hunts for insects at the edge of the pond. As the salamander grows, she moves farther into the woods. A milk snake grabs the salamander. Then let's go. Salamanders have bad tasting skin. The salamander catches an earwig under the leaves. As it grows cold, the salamander looks for a burrow. A deer mouse watches. The salamander sleeps through the cold winter. A rainy spring evening wakes the salamander. It wakes thousands of salamanders. It wakes frogs too. A bright light falls on the salamander. Gentle, curious hands lift her. Then they put her back down. The frogs and salamanders return to the pond. The salamander swims through the water looking for a male. At last she finds a mate. Now the salamander lays eggs of her own. She begins the journey back to the woods. Summer night after summer night, the salamander hunts. Winter cold after winter cold, the salamander sleeps. And every first warm, rainy evening of spring, she wakes again. Words you know. Burrow. A hole dug by an animal as a home. Coat pod, a tiny animal found in many ponds, lakes, and the ocean. It is related to lobsters and crabs. Deer mouse, a small mouse common in fields and wooded areas. Earwig, an insect with sharp claws on its rear end. Larva, the first stage of a salamander's life. Milk snake, a brown and gray snake that eats insects and other small animals.